So my pick this week is uh, pod- is uh, Periscope, and I'm just going to hit the bu- broadcast button right now and start my broadcast. So Oh, yeah. I got so a notification. Go. Yeah, I did too. And I, actually, there's also a More Than Just Code podcast account, which I'm going to open up there. That's Let interesting. Just... I did not get... I Look, there's get 10 any. people already. Jesus, would you look yes, at this? Yes, yes. So... I'm going to turn my volume down on my iPad because uh, the More Than Just Code podcast is also watching this too. Jaime Lopez is just joining. Hey, Jaime, how's it going? Pretty so, good. Pretty good. What do you guys? So this at? is this is a product from from uh, from Twitter. Um, let me just get my uh, Skype view here. So, so that's a good question. So so Tim is talking about the Periscope app from Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, people can't people can't hear you. Hey, Greg, how are you doing? So yeah, so it's, it's an app from from um, Twitter, and it just it's been out for a couple of weeks. So I guess it was in beta testing, and we're getting lots of love from people right now. Um, but basically, uh, you can you can connect to people on Twitter. You can there's a, when you start a broadcast, you can choose to announce your broadcast on Twitter, so people will come in and, and look at stuff, and, and you get all kinds of crass comments. But basically, we're broadcasting live onto the web as we speak. Here, I'm looking at I'll look at my, and I'll post this video to. Uh, oh, that's really cool. I got some really trippy stuff happening now. Can you guys see that? Wow, talk about UI dy- dynamics. What the heck? Look at that, isn't that cool? What do you even? I don't even understand what I'm seeing. <laughs> How does one give love? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, why? Where's these hearts? Come? I don't even. What? So the heart. This so people crazy. people are liking liking the podcast or liking the 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 stream as I'm as I'm broadcasting it. So so Rene Ritchie was on a train the other day going to Ool conference in. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. Oh, Dubai. Ireland. Dubai? Dublin. Oh, Dublin. Oh, okay. Dubai, okay. Dublin. It's all the same. I thought it was Dubai. I, mis- I must have misread something. But anyway, so um, uh, there was a train they were going on. And on the train when he broadcast was the, all of the brain trust of the Mac and iOS media. Like Marco was on there. You know, Georgia Dow was on there. If, if that train got taken out, there would have been a whole lot of openings in the, in the, Mac, the uh, Mac and iOS media market. You know, lots of speaking opportunities for people. Anyway, so coming back to Periscope, I've been using it for about a week now, and it's actually pretty cool. It's it's you're you're able to stream your 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 crappy stuff. Oh, actually, I guess I should show my fridge, right? Hey, homie. Hang yeah, on that's apparently that's like a thing. Okay, I gotta take my headphones off. Hang on one sec. So apparently, what somehow they do lost is, the stream. Is, they show their fridge on. You notice how like it's the numbers are dropping off mm-hmm. dramatically as. Okay. You know, we can't hear you anymore, Tim. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that, that's a nice full fridge. Um. So, that's, so that's the thing. So, so yeah, it's kind of a cool little app, and, it, and it, it, like, I think it's really a neat technology that, that actually sends the stuff out to the web, and people can, uh, thanks, Greg, <laughs> people can uh, check it out. So what do you guys know about Periscope? You know nothing, I know. Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is like, I think we were talking about this earlier, and I don't know if you're going to use any of that here, but um, weird in that it's this, you know, instant sort of broadcast mechanism that Mm -hmm. I'm seeing in my Twitter feed all the time. And then by the time I get there, there's no Twitter feed, right? Or no Periscope feed because it's, you know, you, you, you started it, you said, ah, fun, stopped it. And then, and then I see the link in my feed and I open it up and nothing. So uh, it's a little bizarre, and um, it's obviously incredibly. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, disposable, you know. Yeah, well, that's a good point. Uh, the the streams basically, unless you save your camera roll, they're gone once you've uh, once you've uh, saved them. They get uploaded to a server somewhere, and they only last for 24 hours, and then they apparently disappear. Sure. So uh, I, I did a couple of, uh, like I did my talk the other day on, on uh, the Apple Watch, and I wanted to keep my my talk, but... Um, you lost but, it. Yeah, I, I think I tapped the screen, and, and if you tap, it cancels, and it's uh, it's a bit flaky that way, but uh, it's but cool. But presumably, I, you're not going to record the thing that you're looking at on the screen, right? Like, 
This is the most boring video feed I've ever seen in my life. And there's my microphone, by the way. Right? Yeah. Um, like, I'm looking, I'm looking at your Skype and a picture of the three avatars. Yeah, um, yeah okay. It looks like mine. Um, <laughs> you know, in your place. Wait, show me Mac, for example. Well, like, Mac's, show me... Mac's, Mac's sleeping on the couch. Oh, there's Tim. I saw a little reflection of you there. That's Mac there. Um, Squishing his head. That's a Canadian, okay. Canadian reference. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Is that a Canadian thing? No, a little higher, a little higher. There you go. Um, okay. So, That's yeah, presumably, though, you, you, you're able to, in Periscope, you flip the camera around and use the oh, FaceTime yeah. camera. Oh, yeah, true. Let so me... we can see, like, you know, an actual human subject as opposed to oh, hello. Hi. a static image. Got my haircut. I'm a little behind here, so I guess I'm not oh, seeing it. There you are. There. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so with... Oh, but... Uh, We've lost him. I can't hear him anymore. Oh, I'm, t I'm here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't talking. It's it's weird because I'm looking at you, but uh, <laughs> um, your there's, mouth is moving and nothing's coming out. Because, well, there's a, there's a delay. Yeah. Like, it seems to be, uh, there seems to be a delay between... Yeah, uh, totally. And yeah. uh, so it's freaking me out. It's I'm talking yeah. to you live, watching your face move, and yeah, yeah. the words are coming out some other time. Anyway, um... Very interesting social experiment. We'll, you know, we'll have to see if this thing actually becomes a thing. And I wonder if it won't just be a preserve for famous people who decide to start a Periscope, get tens of thousands of instant viewers, uh, but people like you and me get no viewers at all. Well, yeah. It's, well, um, I got five right now. I had set, like I did a talk the other day. And I got seventy, but the um, the Chris Chris Hatfield started it, and that's how I found out about it. I saw a tweet by him and and. Uh, jumped on it and he's apparently he's been testing it before when it was in beta testing so he's been doing things like he's recording an album right now and he's you know goes on talks about you know uh space equipment and stuff like that and and i think he's riding on his twitter fame as a word for that he obviously yes yeah from, well uh, he's he's one of the people i'm talking about like yeah exactly person. exactly right. mm -hmm. so uh you know when it comes to you know me like say i start a periscope and you know what am i going to record so you know i'm going to take your questions right now and go ahead and ask me anything Who's going to tune in for that? Nobody. <laughs> so somebody ask Aaron a question. Or is this the four of us on here? Greg, are you there? Well. <sighs> this is Aaron. I'm animating your head talking. This is just bizarre because, <laughs> you know, we're both reporting a, a podcast and, oh. and Tim is hosting a, a Periscope. Greg, Greg says hi. Well, I'm sure he does, but. <laughs> you know, so people have asked us or a couple of people have asked us like, hey, would we ever do, you know, live streaming? And I think. You could sort of hack it a little bit, right? By uh, <laughs> probably by using Periscope. By using yeah. Periscope, playing it's it distracting, out. isn't it? It's tough to follow a podcast and watch this Periscope thing at the same time, which are they're actually kind of asynchronous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, and I had to tune out because I or turn off the Periscope because I couldn't focus on what you guys are talking about. Anymore. Right, right. I see that you guys are having that issue. <clears throat> Anyway, interesting app. Let's see how it pans out in the next couple of weeks. And uh, as as for a vote um, on having a live stream of our podcast, I think that's a great idea if we know of any mechanism to do it with. Well, people, a lot of people do it through video, um, and then they record the call off of Skype. But we and we could do that. I mean, certainly. Um, so, uh, Greg, it's my house, not Aaron's house. Oh, wait, you want Aaron to show you the fridge? Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Skype does keep saying. Make this a group video call. It's free. Oh, okay. What? Maybe Aaron should just do that. Really? <laughs> and oh, then show us his Lord. fridge. <laughs> well, I know on I know on Roundabout, uh, uh, Tammy and Philippe, they they, um, they record theirs uh, using video, but they they do an audio podcast. But uh, and they keep the video for posterity, I guess. You know, you never know. Yeah. All anyway, right. That's my review of Periscope. It's kind of a cool app. Uh, like I said, it's it's. It's trendy right now. Um, yeah, it's that's a cool, the thing. cool ex execution. Uh, you know, of course, I think you have to have the the development muscle of a Twitter. I think well, Twitter bought them for some insane amount of money, right? Um, oh, did they? Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I yeah. thought they did it in house. Okay. Oh, so, no, no, it was uh, they bought Periscope. Do you know anything about it, Jaime, at all? I don't remember the details, but it's worth pointing out that there was a competitor app that. that got impacted by the deal, right? So yeah, Meerkat. Meerkat. Yeah. Kind of a similar concept, but much more of a, well, we just talked about it, right? It's much more of a minimum viable product. Meerkat really didn't do much. It was kind of one of those, like, produce it within, you know, one to two weeks, maybe even Thanks over, like, a hackathon weekend right or something. I forget what they said. But it's pretty bare bones. Um, yeah. 
Whereas Periscope is, you know, much more in depth in, in terms of like, I mean, just look at the little hearts animation of people liking what's happening here and the transitions that happen as people add text, like, you know, Greg is saying like, Hey, Meerkat used a Twitter graph API to connect and got squashed quickly. Yes, that's true. So Meerkat was around for, I don't know, week and a half or so. I forget the exact timing. Um, you know, it kind of like Periscope, it uses the Twitter graph to connect people to who they're with. Um, but uh, right before South by Southwest, the uh, big conference or festival, I guess, conference slash festival slash extravaganza in Austin, Texas, uh, Twitter said, hey, we've got this Periscope thing going on. Let's kick them in the shins <laughs> and remove their access to that graph. And it's really hurt Meerkat's uh, ability to kind of just stay viable as far as I can tell, particularly considering that they were, as I mean, I'm going into the opinion here, but it seems like Meerkat was pretty much an inferior product to begin with. I mean, Periscope is just better. I don't know why Twitter, you know, kind of had to twist the knife in the back and rub some salt in the wound, but uh, that was their right. Because they can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out over the next little while. Wow, look at the Inception thing happening here. <laughs> By the way, I took one, my headphones two. off and I put them next to the uh, next to the speaker on the phone so people can hear you talking. So we are yeah, live. Yeah, I saw Greg uh, commenting stuff. I was reading it live. It was, it'll be interesting. I, I think some uses that come to my mind, of course, as you mentioned, the celebrities, like, you know, if Lady Gaga goes in there, Justin Bieber or Michelle Phan or PewDiePie, you know, Mark Plark folks. I, could see... I didn't recognize half the names you just said there. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that explains, you know, your your lack of interest in, in Periscope, right? It's it's not going to be for everybody, right? It, mm-hmm. I don't think it's, it, it's like we were talking about with the watch. I think you got to have a certain kind of level of interest. And in terms of broadening those interests, I would think that um, using you know, Periscope right? for things that like... Uh, YouTube live streaming is currently used for, for example, a lot of animal shelters or even um, like foster home type things for pets will have like, here's the kitty corner or here's the puppy place. And they have these, you know, adorable animals that you can just see a live feed at any time and just see what they're up to. Oh, look, they're getting fed. Oh, they're playing with each other. And people really like that. And it sort of builds this community aspect around getting those pets uh, adopted. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And I've actually got the idea of, you know, turning like an old iPod or something and using Periscope and turning it into like a cheap webcam for like, hey, what's going on in my house? Huh. Can you just run it like full time? I have no idea. Hmm. I want to experiment with it. Yeah. Get a crappy old iPhone. Yeah. Per- no, Tim, we're talking about something else. No, there. I, I, I have my head. I forgot the headphones wrapped around the phone so people <laughs> oh, can hear you on the broadcast. Oh, God. So a Periscope is killing our podcast. <laughs> All Branded right, we're media, done. Is they call it? This, this thing's over, man. We're done. <laughs> All right, folks, it's over. Aaron's called it. Yeah, we're to, done. I have to Hour swipe, and a half of recording. Stop the broadcast. <laughs> Cut it out, man. <laughs>